Hello everyone, today we're going to do a fun drawing today inspired by Takashi Miramaki. Um, he's a Japanese artist who does these kind of fun drawings, kind of graffiti-like, um, very pop-inspired drawings. So we're going to do some flower, fun flower faces today, which sounds kind of weird, but I don't know, it just has a cool look to it. So what we're going to do is, basically, I'm going to draw a marker today. Um, but you can draw on pencil if you feel better at doing pencil. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with just some circles. Let's draw some different sizes. And you may want to, we will be adding some more, but you're going to add some petals. And they're just like simple petals. You want to make sure the petals kind of touch your circle as you go around. That's a good start, but let's go ahead and start adding some more flowers. We want to fill this whole paper up with flowers. So I'm going to add some more circles in. Doing pretty good. Let's add a few more. Let's try to add 12. I want 12. 12 sounds like a good number. All right, one more. Okay, once we have our 12, we're going to go ahead and add in our faces in. So each one can have a different face. So you can have some that are smiling. Some that are happy. Some that are unhappy. <laughs> some that are... So go ahead and add some faces if you don't want to add faces to all of them, you don't have to, but you should add faces to about half of them. So I have all my little faces. Uh, now I'm going to start coloring. Now I'm going to leave my background <clears throat> just a solid color, and I'll do that in the end. But I'm going to get to coloring, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. When you're coloring, um, I would say try to color your petals different colors. Do not color them all the same. Um, Takashi's artwork is very bright and colorful, so I should see lots of color. And um, don't be afraid of those bright colors.
The last thing I'm going to do on my flowers is I'm going to add some stems. Uh, you could do this um, after you draw your flowers. I just wanted them to be kind of like curvy. And then I'm just going to color those with green. You could do different greens if you want. And then that's it. If you want to color your background, you can, but I think because so much is going on, we don't have.